I was born in Canada. I was born in a little skiing village called Jasper. My dad is Canadian, my mum is Australian, and after about two years, they both decided that it was too cold, so we all moved down to Melbourne. When I was like, 14 or 15, I really wanted to get into modelling and mum was a model when she was younger, so I always just thought that was so cool. This competition came up called Search for a Supermodel. My friends took me along and I went and entered this competition and there was thousands and thousands of girls and I was like, there is no way I'm ever going to get into this, but I did. So I kind of just dived headfirst into it straight out of school. It kind of just started taking off then when I was about 19 in Sydney. That was where I started really uh, pulling in the jobs and starting to work with really good clients. And yeah, then it took me overseas, which was another dream come true. I would describe my style as Probably biker chic. I like to dress up when I go out, but then I also like to keep it pretty edgy, pretty grungy. I also like sophisticated pieces, really beautifully tailored suits. Kind of androgynous style I really like as well, having short hair that works quite well, but with the feminine touch. I would like to see the Australian fashion industry grow. I want to see us dominate. I want to see a unique Australian style, something that you can look at a person on the street and be like, yeah, they, they look amazing. They must be Australian. I want to use this platform to just give young girls an insight into this crazy industry. Everyone has their own style and their own unique qualities and this platform is something that will hopefully celebrate so many different people's different qualities and different styles. I want to show everybody at home what it's like to be at a fashion shoot or to go behind the scenes and talk to the designers and speak to the models and inspire them to go out and do something different or buy something different. An it girl to me involves unique qualities that other people are drawn to. I think it's an attitude. I think you need to master your sparkle. You need to find that sparkle. And you need to show other people that that's what you have inside you. And you don't have to go out and get the best brands. You just have to put things together well and you just need to put some time and effort into that. And I think that that is something that will and can apply to everything in life.